Hey, you guys tell me, don't Popeyes have a sweet and spicy wings? But don't trip, AB got you covered. Listen, it's game day, let me show you my version. Let's go. Hey, just for the record, look, I'm a Dolphin fan. Kansas City is opening up with Detroit this Thursday. And listen, I live in Las Vegas. Let's go. All right, folks, now listen, I wanna show it like this, right? Everything that you see, my ingredients on this side, this is my seasoning for my flour. And everything on this side, this way, this is my sauce, right? Listen, it's real simple, easy to do. I'm gonna be using my Dutch oven, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up right now. Let's start bringing this up to temp. And these are my wings, right? They already been washed. You know, I already patted them dry. You guys can see them right here. So I'm gonna get ready and get started. Now, you got your flour. All of my ingredients I told you on my right side, you guys are looking, so it'll be on the left. Listen, you just wanna go ahead and just add them all in. Then we just whisk it together. The thing about when you're doing flour, you know it's already like that bleach white color, right? So when you season it, you should be able to see it. I hope the camera's picking it up. I can see all of the different seasonings inside of this. You just wanna make sure it's all complete, right? And this tells me it's gonna be nice. And I take it one step further, you guys. Look, I taste it. If it tastes seasoned to me, then I know it's gonna be great on the wings. Okay, so look, now what I'm doing is I'm bringing my oil up to temp, right? I'm bringing this up to 375 degrees. So I got my lid on. I told you already, this has already been washed. You know what I mean, it patted dry. Look at my seasoning, you know, inside of my, uh, my flour. Now we just go ahead and just start, you know, getting these coated. I like for it to sit up on here just a little bit, right? So I'm gonna get in here with this hand here and just, you know, give it a mix. And then what I do is just so that it sticks, right? I usually take my hand like this and I like to just squeeze them. You know, let me look at it. Let me show you again. After I get them coated. Right? Just like that. And then I like for them to, like for the flour to adhere, right? So I let it sit up for about 10 minutes. Look, this is what I want to do. I want to show you. Sometimes when you buy them, look, you can see you can trim these off. But look, you ask me, this right here, a lot of flavor and it's got some meat too. You know what I mean? It's okay. I just want to make sure. Got some seasoned flour on it. I got it to it here, and I just put them down, you know, just like that. Just to put some emphasis on it, you guys should always have yourself like a meat thermometer. And I got it, my grandma right now would like probably pop my hands for me using this, but this is how I like teach people that are like new to it, because my grandmama just knew when it was right. She didn't stick no wooden spoon in there or bamboo spoon or nothing like that to see if it was ready. She just knew when it was ready. But for everybody else that's new, if you want to have a great success, 375 degrees, and this is how I check it. I'm already there. Actually, I was at 386, which is cool, right? Because once we start putting some of this chicken inside of there, it's going to lower it a little bit, and then it's going to, you know, try to come back up. So I make an adjustment, folks. When I put it in, after I get them all in there, I raise my fire up just a little bit. And you, I want you guys to pay attention to it. You can see it had time to like, you know, sit the flour, the seasoned flour sits on top of it and it had time to it in here, right? So now we'll just go ahead and put them in like this. I'm not gonna crowd it. Then when you look at this right here, See, it's at 369, 371, that's fine. I made it just a little bit of an adjustment when I stick them in there, just so we can stay around 375. Now look, I put a splatter shield on top of this because you know what I mean, we don't want to get grease that comes out here on the outside of this, right? Any of the oil, right? I do have a, uh, a lid for my Dutch oven, but I like for it to bleed a little bit and I like this right here. I wanted to show you guys because you guys probably be making this. If you don't have a Dutch oven, you're making it in a cast iron or just a regular pot, but if you don't have one of these, you gotta get yourself one. Okay, so look, it really only takes about like five to seven minutes. It really depends on how hot you have your, you know, your oil, right? But I want to show you this. And if I do it like this, notice they starting to, they floating. That's a telltale sign that they are ready, right? So I just take them like this. They're gonna darken up just a little bit as they sit up, but don't worry. We're gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these and the flavor and they crispy. Don't worry, after they dry a little bit, you look at that right there. Pay attention to these right here. These are the last ones, right? You wanna get yourself one of these spiders. You can go ahead and get all of the, the grease and oil out. These, these came out nice. 
Now, only thing we got to do now is make that sauce, toss them, put them out, and eat them. Okay, so since we did all of our chicken wings in a bat in batches, right? I always set my oven. I do like a little 200, uh, 200 degrees Fahrenheit just to keep them warm, right? Put them inside, leave them alone, get yourself a pan, you know, your sauce pan. Now it's time for us to go ahead and make that sauce. It doesn't have to be melted all the way. Now I'm just gonna come with my hot sauce. Now we come with that honey. Ooh. Now we come with the brown sugar. All right, you can see it's starting to simmer, right? This is when I like to go ahead and put my seasoning in. I'm gonna just keep continuing to stir it and let it thicken up a little bit. And we don't want it to be too thick. Okay, so got them in here. I got a bowl, obviously this right here is big enough, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour a little bit of this on here like this. Let me go ahead and just give you guys something to look at right now. Now, for those of you guys that wanna make it like super spicy, what you can do is, check this out. You can add some red chili flakes to it. You know what I mean? You can raise it up a little bit with a little bit more cayenne, but this right here is fire. Okay, folks, again, look, I want to pat myself on the back because I love the... Listen, I love when it come, becomes game day. You know what I mean? I love setting up everything. You know, I like my spread. That's just the basic thing I want to say. And if you guys pay attention, look, for my upright right here, look, you guys can go to your hardware store, just get yourself three quarter inch pipe. These are nothing but just caps. You know what I mean? Just piece it together. Cut these, cut that. It's self-explanatory, a T. And then I got T's down here. Real simple, little green and yellow spray. And this is how you come up with that. Hey, with that being said, listen, I feel like I'm over talking. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this flat right here. Oh, I got one hit, one glove on, one not, but you guys got the point. Cheers. Mm. Ooh. Hey, you know what? I thought I'd just save this and just show you. And I know some of y'all out there, you know what I mean? Y'all eat all of that. I don't, I know what that is. You know what I mean? But I just want to show you a nice clean bone, right? Let me go ahead and take this off. So we got to talk down in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about these decorations right here. But most of all, when you guys make these, I want somebody to contact uh, Popeyes and ask them, say, hey, have you had ABs, sweet and spicy? Not for real. <clears throat> now, listen, let me know what you think. You know what I mean? Uh, this is a little bit of a sticky wing. You know what I mean? Uh, so when you got your, you know, your friends over there, make sure you got plenty of these. You're going to need a lot of these and a lot of wet naps. You know what I mean? Listen, so the whole time that, you know, football season is going, I'm going to be releasing some gems, folks. Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? Hashtag Go Dolphins. I'm out. Peace.